have my uh, Linux machine, my client, uh, inside VirtualBox. And let's have a look at doing some DNS client operations. And we'll use NSLOOKUP to basically see the mappings from domain names to IP addresses in the internet. Normally this happens in the background, but we can uh, have a command line tool to, to inspect things ourselves. Uh, currently it's not installed, so I need to install the DNS utilities. DNS utils is the package which includes the things that I want to use, in particular NSLOOKUP. It may be installed on your system, in mine it's not. So it's going to install some additional packages and, and use about 12 meg of disk space, so that's why it's not installed by the cut down server initially. Yes, I'll install. And now I should have, and just to show, by installing DNS utils, I should have the command I'm looking for, which is NSLOOKUP. NSLOOKUP uh, does a manual lookup if we provide a domain name. For example, uh, google.com.au. It does a lookup uh, and it tries to find the corresponding IP address and it finds the answer is 216.58.199.67. The purpose here is to explain how the domain name system works. It's to show uh, what NSLOOKUP does for us. Normally DNS runs in the background, we don't do this. For example, when I open my browser and type in a domain name, like Google's domain name, then it calls a DNS client to do the lookup for us. We're basically manually calling the DNS client to, to do the, the lookup using the program NSLOOKUP. So it gives us a mapping from a name to an IP address. You may see different information uh, because DNX, DNS is a complex system where we have, uh, may have multiple mappings, we have uh, caches, and that may mean that people in different locations or on, uh, on different computers can get different responses. Just looking at the output of NSLOOKUP, the first two lines are not telling us the result, but telling us the server that we got the answer from. So basically we ask this particular server, 138.77.176.10, uh, and that may be given as a domain name there in some cases, and here would be the IP address, and port 53, which is the port number used by DNS servers. We ask this server, what is the IP address for this domain name? And the answer we got back was this 216 address. And it's a non-authoritative answer, meaning the answer we got back is like a cached value. It's not coming from the authority server where this domain name is registered. So uh, it may be different in different cases um, and it may be out of date because it's a cache value, but normally it would be uh, a correct. Try it on different domains. Uh, type sandylands.info and it tells us the, the IP address for that is 103.363.107. Uh, we can um, and it tells us that we got it from the same DNS server. And that DNS server would be my local uh, DNS server for the, the university network. Try a couple of others, and let's look up on Facebook. Some different output here. Again, we've done a lookup, we've got an answer, uh, but we see that there's that Facebook or www.facebook.com uh, is really an alias or a nickname. The real name or canonical name is star.mini.c10r.facebook.com and the IP address given is for that domain name. So this is saying that Facebook is just a nickname for this, this longer domain name. And again, the complexities of DNS means you may get different results depending on which regions you're in, uh, which DNS servers you ask. Uh, a couple of others, google.com, 
Not.au gives a sorry if we do and compare google.com this 216 address 199.68 and do google.com.au.67 almost the same 67 68 uh, most likely they are uh, as both hosting Australian web server content although it's more complex than just uh, going by the IP address and we can as another option I'll just clear we can specify which DNS server to look up so when we just so, sorry when we type type just the domain name then we'll ask our default DNS server but we can supply as another parameter uh, a known DNS server and I know that there is a DNS server with the address 8.8.8.8 .8 which is actually the free DNS server that Google provides so in this case I haven't asked my default DNS server I've asked a, a specific DNS server this 8 all 8's address and I've got the answer from that server and noting it's a different answer so uh, different DNS servers have different mappings from the same domain to uh, IP address and you need to look at the, the background of DNS and, and how uh, say websites have um, content in different locations and uh, to understand how all that works. So use NSLOOKUP to do manual lookups for domain names and optionally supply a uh, DNS server that you want to ask to get the answer from.